The 4-3-2 on YouTube, probably the best formation on EAFC 24. So because of that, you are only going to want to use balance on the defensive style. In my opinion, I don't know whether any of you agree, on this latest patch, pressure on heavy touch and press after possession loss has been nerfed into the absolute ground. I don't think it's any good anymore. And the funny thing is about that, actually, pressure on heavy touch was good. I was really, really, really enjoying it pre-patch and then the latest patch dropped and all of a sudden I just think it's absolutely awful it drains your stamina so 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 quickly I don't even think it's worth it and press over the possession loss I just think it's awful so balanced is definitely the way to go for your cheapest and most reliable place to buy FC24 coins check out mmoexp.com link is down in the description below use the code wolf at a checkout for 5% off your order the defensive width I think you should go down to probably 45 or anywhere between 42 and 45 at this moment in time I I'm using 45 remember you do want to be a little bit more narrow and a little bit more compact on this latest patch the reason being this latest patch is trying to force our defensive structure out wide so because of that we do want to go a little bit more narrow making us more compact in the middle of the pitch and that's why i'm using 45 width i just really 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 like it uh, i think it's really good we are more narrow which means we're more compact but at the same time we're not really 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 narrow and just defending the width of our goal post so that our opponent can abuse the byline and the meta it's why i think 42 is probably the lowest I would go but 45 is what I'm using at this moment in time the defensive depth I think you can up it all the way to 60 on a 4-2-2-1 yes now there are a couple of things I do on the player instructions which means that I actually do use a different formation when I'm defending even though it is still the 4-3-2-1 than when I do get the ball so because we are not actually defending in a 4-3-2-1 and we do defend in a 4-4-2 you can afford to be quite aggressive with your defensive depth and I've kind of worked out over the last few days that on this patch when we are more aggressive our opponent doesn't like it our opponent really struggles to deal with our press and stuff like that so i'm really 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 enjoying upping that defensive depth up to 60 but one thing i will say if you are someone that is struggling defensively with the 4-3-2-1 maybe use 55 see if you can get along with that 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 lowering the defensive depth from 60 to 55 really might help in terms of conceding less goals the build up play and chance creation offense is of course going to be balanced direct passing it's literally not going to be anything else one thing i will say though fast build up and direct passing and and long ball and diet passing, I'm watching you. They could be ones in the future that I really, really, really grow to like. But at this moment in time, I really, really, I, I just love balanced diet passing. Direct passing, should I say. Have done ever since they brought it in about two years ago. I think it is the most broken thing you can use on this game. The offensive width, we do actually want to go quite narrow with this YouTube. So I've gone down to 43. I really much prefer it when my left centre forward and my right centre forward, when they are closer to my striker. I think we do create more opportunities, more goal scoring opportunities, and we have better passing lanes because of that. And that's why I've gone down all the way to 43. Three, I just think it's better. We're a lot more narrow, meaning we have better passing lanes and we just score more goals. My spreadsheet and my data back it up. Players in the box is, of course, going to be seven. More players that we have in the box, the more likely we are to score a goal and the more goals we will score. It is very simple. Two corners and two free kicks like so. Custom tactics done. Let's get into the player instructions. Now, the middle strike, well, the only striker, should I say, is on stay central and getting behind. The stay central, I literally want that striker to stay in the central areas of the pitch. I do not want my striker venturing out wide at all. I don't think that helps this formation at all. I really, really, really don't. If anything, I think it is a hindrance to this formation. The getting behind, very, very, very simple YouTube. I want my striker to make forward runs in behind the defence. If they're not, we're not going to create goal scoring opportunities. Sometimes it can work, but I much prefer it when my striker is making runs in behind. I just think it is a lot harder for my opponent to deal with that. My right centre forward is then on exactly the same as my striker. So my right centre forward is on stay central and getting behind. Like I was saying literally just 10 seconds ago, I want my right centre forward to be staying in the central areas of the pitch and also making them penetrate and runs in behind. It's very, very, very good. Samueletto. <laughs> oh, I'm very effective to do that. I then play with my left centre forward, and this is very important. So my left centre forward is on comeback on defence. The reason being, my left centre forward will tuck in to that left midfield of a 4-4-2 when we don't have the ball. And you will see now, that is why I actually have my right centre forward on the same as my striker, because they're the two strikers that will be playing up front when we don't have the ball, meaning that my left centre forward will drop into that left midfield of a 4-4-2. But then when we get the ball, because we are on balance of diet passing, they will push straight back up into that left centre forward position. So very, very, very good. Just makes us more defensively solid in the 4-3-2-1. My left central midfielder is then on balanced attack, getting 
into the box for cross and cover center. My, my left center mid is very, very, very important in the 4-3-2 one. My left center mid kind of plays as like that, that support striker, shadow striker, and in that number 10 role. They get into the box for cross, pretty much does what it says on the tin. They make runs into the penalty area in crossing situations. That's what I want. You will notice when you do use my custom tactics on the 4-3-2 one, your left central midfielder will score a lot of goals. And I mean that. The middle centre mid, I then use as basically like the Rodri role or the Bubakar Kamara role in Aston Villa. He plays as the CDM. So his job or her job, depending if you have a, a female player there. That's the job right there of that middle centre midfielder. Winning the ball back and then giving it to the better players. That person's job is then to play, get the ball, win it back and then give the ball to the other players that can play better. So that's why I really like Yaya Torre there. Other, other people that are really good there would be like a Vieira and stuff like that. Kind of have like an out and out CDM in that role. The right central midfielder is then on completely default settings YouTube. Yes, completely default including cover wing. So as my left centre forward tucks in to that left left mid position of a 4-4-2, my right central midfielder will drift ever so slightly wide playing in that right midfield of a 4-4-2 when we don't have the ball. But then when we get the ball, as Dan Juma pushes straight back up into that left centre forward position, Iwobi will push back into that right centre mid position. I then personally play with my right back on stay back while attacking. So I don't attack with my right back. Both my two centre backs are on stay back while attacking and then normal interceptions and stick to position. My left back is then the one that is on during the attack and overlap. Very, very, very important. So my left back will provide us with a lot of width down that left hand side and, and try and create a lot of goal scoring opportunities. And the left back will get a lot of assists, believe you me. And then last but not least, my goalkeeper is on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So let's show you some gameplay clip. Beautiful. You see my left central midfielder getting forward, playing a lovely ball inside, and another one. Oh, good block. Beautiful. Beautiful from my right central midfielder. That's why I love having him on balanced attack as well, so he will get forward and score goals. Beautiful. A perfect example of the striker. Hi, <laughs> so he's so 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 cheeky and so so beautiful. As my opponent, he's probably gonna race quit as well. Beautiful oh, Samueletto. Beautiful right there. You see the left back here on join the attack and overlap. Plays a lovely ball across. That's why I love having my left back on join the attack and overlap. That was some appalling defending, by the way, from my opponent. He just let me have the byline. And I think he's going to quit within the first five minutes as well. And he is. Bye, bye, bye. That right there is my brand new updated 4-3-2-1 custom tactics video for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, YouTube, please drop it a like for me. Drop a comment down below. And if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA positive, man. A latitude. Peace out. One love.